and good morning, and thanks for listening to Windsor Praise Broadcasting. This is KWPBLP Newport. It's just shy of 7.30, and this is Scott Albright uh, broadcasting on this Friday. It's the 21st of May, 2021, and I like that, 21, May 21, and so we just listened to Psalm 121 from Steve Bell, and I really enjoy that. Now, uh, I have a whole studio full of lovely guests. Um, Colleen McNeil is still away. I believe she's in St. Louis. Ernie is up working in Everett. And Rob Dupra is still in Toledo, but I called Rob. I said, don't come in today because I have three lovely ladies, including Kelly. Uh, I'm going to say hello to each of you. Kelly, my wife is here. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning, Scott. Yeah. And because you have come in, I've invited uh, Loretta Lundy, and you're normally sitting where Colleen does. Hello, Loretta. Ooh, that's a big seat to fill. <laughs> Good morning. And I'm going to have to adjust your mics. And Amy Shones. Hello, Amy. Good morning. Now, I've had uh, your husband's, Dan, has come in, Loretta, a bunch of times, and um, I've never had the pleasure of having you come in. And Paul came in the other day, and Amy, you, you were invited, but you couldn't come in, so... Uh, I thought, let's just have a ladies time. I've tried forever to get Kelly to come in, and uh, so this is the day. This is the morning. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. <laughs> now, I, I can start with Kelly because um, Winds of Praise has now been on the air for like 23 years, and I always say I'm a co-founder, and this lovely lady here is the one who co-founded Winds of Praise with me. And she is the editing arm of The Post, which is our newspaper that we print every month. Uh, she compiles uh, and gets the writers to, to write and contribute. And that's actually the revenue arm of our ministry as well. We, we don't operate on a huge budget. Nobody takes salaries. Uh, Kelly make a, a, a few dollars, literally, <laughs> from every month on The Post. I mean, it's really nothing. Uh, so virtually no one gets paid, um, but thank you for your doing that, and uh, I'd just like to have you talk about your perspective. How did you start Winds of Praise Broadcasting? Well, um, I guess I've always liked to write, to go back a long ways, and uh, I basically grew up in Newport. Um, I was an editor at the Harbor Light at Newport High and got to study um, journalism at Oregon State. And um, fast forwarding in 1979, I accepted the Lord. Uh, you, Scott, um, we worked at KMPT together in the newsroom. Cub reporters. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I, that was, that was uh, real fun. Um, and I also, Statesman Journal, I was a correspondent there when we first met, but anyway, I, I've always liked to write, and um, after you and I got married in uh, a, a ministry in California, Sweet Lady said, um, you know, there's a publication that supports a ministry where people write testimonies and inspirational things, and it's something that somebody could grab if they're waiting in a hospital waiting room or something, and to be of comfort, and I just thought, wow, that would be something for, you were the radio guy, I was the writer, and so, you know, our our dream of Winds of Praise had already happened, but we did need um, some revenue, and so I um, kind of have my daddy's sales genes, and mm -hmm. so I've, I've gone out to get supporters and, and generous donations from, you know, the community also, but... Uh, it's been great, and we have a great staff of writers that um, write what, what's on their hearts, what they've studied in the Word, and it is a comforting, unifying type tool for the community. And I want to say we do have a great staff of writers, and that's why we have Amy here. Um, and Kelly, you invited Amy Shones to write. You, Amy, you've, you've written, you serve the Lord for many, many years. We are all family. I mean, you, you talk about the lady that gave you that encouragement. Uh, we were on a ministry trip with Joe Junkus, and uh, I don't know how many years ago that was, and that's where that started. Mm -hmm. uh, Joe is still uh, in the community, and he was our engineer for a long time, and mm -hmm. 
we all know Joe, Joe Jonkis and Amy, uh, you and Paul are from a family that's been in, in the area. Le the last time Paul was here, I said that his parents were from Logston, which mm -hmm. is not correct. I sometimes say things that oh. I don't realize I said. Well, it's close. But, uh, so that's, yeah, but they attend Logston neighborhood church. There you go. That's, that's, what, you that's what Kelly said. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Tell us about yourself and, and how you have become a writer and the things that, that you've done. Oh, me. Okay. Um, well, uh, first and foremost, lover of Jesus Christ. Amen. And a Christian and a wife. Um, <coughs> see, we're going to come up on 43 years. And mother of four. And grandmother of 18. Woohoo! <laughs> Good so, grief. So, um, yeah, I'm just a fisherman's wife and in the fishing business, as anyone knows that has their own business, your kitchen table is your office, and so there's always something going on with the business and and with the kids, and yeah, we've done mission work in, in the islands of Fiji, and yeah. Our, our youngest is adopted from our daughter Alame. She's adopted from Ethiopia, and she is in YWAM right now over in Kona, Hawaii. That's amazing, so and, that's, and that's our caboose, so you are a writer. And you've written uh, <laughs> you've written a song that captured Kelly, and Kelly's always said, "I'd love to put this song to." It's a, yeah, a poem. Yeah, the poem. Yes. Yeah, it's it's wonderful. I, it would be so pretty um, set to the a drum, okay. and I want to do that. Someday. So so we'll now <laughs> you who are you who are listening can go and and read the columns <laughs> for both uh, Amy and Kelly, yes. and see who they are with this mm -hmm. uh, with this broadcast this morning. Now, Larita, you're over here in the corner. Um, your husband, Dan, has been a friend forever, uh, it seems. He said over 20 years, and I think it's been a lot longer than that. 30, over 30. Yeah, that's what I think, too. Um, but tell us about yourself. Well, um, I have been married for 54 years. Whoa! Wow. Um, Born in the same hospital, and you know, went to high school together, and we've been married since we were babies, basically. So we have four kids, um, and a whole bunch of grandkids and great grandkids now. So we have a huge family, and I'd count them except for, you know, we have all those that were just brought in from maybe needing a home um, as a grandkid mm -hmm. or whatever. So. I don't even know how many there are anymore. It's just a bunch, <laughs> and we love them all. So, uh, uh, right now, we have my mom living yes. with us, and that's just been awesome. Yeah. Um, just being able to spend time with her and, and see the, the smiles that she now has, because she's not living alone. So mm. that's just been awesome. Yeah. Um, we uh, started uh, Sacred Ground Outreach several mm -hmm. years ago, and uh, now it's kind of moved into a combination with the Slits Baptist Church. Um, more as a native ministry, but it was open to everyone. It's open to, to, to everybody. We're not just native outreach. So we um, also have messenger ministries now, and that is our ministry. We, we were taking our boat to Alaska, and um, we spent five summers up there and some winters and um, just reaching out to everyone speaking in different churches and and just getting to know people in different neighborhoods up there um, right now what are we doing we're, we're kind of taking a tiny bit of a break maybe. <laughs> hardly but, yeah but, but not really our, our calendars are full every single day and site what is this? <laughs> well, but, but we're, we're working for the Lord every day. It's an honor to have you, all three of you, in here at the radio station. And, and like I say, we are not alone in our ministry. Um, every single one of us in the body of Christ has a note. That's what I've liked to say recently. We all have a note to sing. And God wants us to work in harmony and unity and make a beautiful sound to Him. And we all have a different piece to play. We have a different part. As long as we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, then it all works really well. So you're listening to Winds of Praise. Um, this is KWPBLP Newport. We're broadcasting live 
right now, and we're here to pray and to encourage you. And so I'm just explaining to the ladies here that uh, maybe you're driving by in Newport, maybe you're coming from the East County, and you're flipping through the dials and you wonder, uh, who are they? Well, we're just people that love Jesus, and we're here broadcasting, and we want to pray for you. Uh, that's one thing that we want to do. Um, do any of you ladies feel an unction to, to pray right now for the community? Would one of you pray? Sure. We can, go ahead. Yeah. We can all yeah. there you go. join in. You want to start killing? Sure. Lord, um, we just thank you that you've reserved this place for us in this time. And um, thank you for um, providing for this ministry. And thank you for these dear friends here. And for my husband. And... We just ask that you would uh, make yourself real to everybody that's listening, everybody that would pick up a Post newspaper, that they would just be um, just be touched by um, by your spirit, Father. And we know you have everything in control. There's a lot going on in this world, um, but you are the one. You have the one. You gave your son for everything that um, we've ever done wrong, and you are our salvation, mm -hmm. and we thank you for that. Amen. Mm -hmm. Lord, I just pray for rest. Mm -hmm. Lord, during this time, of there's some turmoil going on here and there and everywhere, but Lord, with you, we can have rest in our soul. Mm -hmm. We just call upon you now, Lord. I, I just pray for anybody listening, and any of us, that need that place of rest, Father, would just come to you right now and say, Holy Spirit, come. All is well within my soul. Lord, I know rest comes for me with thankfulness, so we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you, Lord, for the breath of life. We thank you, Lord, that you have everything um, in control. We don't have to control everything, Lord. We just need to be obedient to thank you. Thank you for that. We can just rest in you, Lord, that yes. you you keep the, the universe going, you keep the stars in the sky, the earth is spinning, the animals, nature, us, our heartbeat, our children, when we can't be with them, Lord, you're, you're everywhere. Everywhere we're not, Lord, but you're also right here where we are. So, Father, we just thank you for that. We thank you that you're the omnipresent God. Lord, for those that don't even know that, I pray they reach out and believe it right now. Lord, that you're with us. That you bring your peace. We just call upon you now, Lord. Prince of Peace, be our peace. Mm -hmm. Let us not be distracted, O oh God. Let us keep our focus keen on what you would have. You said in your word that whatever your hand finds to do, do with all your might. Mm -hmm. We don't need to strive about that, but Lord, if, if a lot of times there's dishes in my hand or or a grandchild nearby, or or my husband, or, or myself, or even my dog, or, or work to do, things to do, Lord, but nothing is small in your sight, Lord. Whatever is in our hand, Lord, that's what's to do. And I thank you, Lord, you've given us your word. I thank you, Lord, your word is in our hand. If we would just simply reach out and get it, touch it and open it. Lord, many countries, they can't, they can't, read the word openly, but we can on our smartphone. I thank you for your holy word, Lord. I pray you'd lead your people to open up your word and read just what they need to, to hear that day. And for those seeking, Father, I just pray they would not be afraid to open your word and mm -hmm. seek you, because you promised that if we seek you, we'll find you. And we here have sought you at time in our life, Way back we can remember the time. And we found you. You found us, actually, Lord. And I don't know how it all works, but we became your children. You, your Holy Spirit came. We thank you, Lord, that your Holy Spirit has promised. You said you had to go away. And you went away. And you said, don't worry, I'm going to leave. I'm going to send a comforter. Oh, how we need the comforter. We need not to be anxious, Lord, for you say being anxious for nothing, but in everything, with prayer and supplication, make your requests be made known to God. 
and we thank you for that. We thank you, Lord, that you're right there to comfort us. In the Old Testament, Father, the, the Spirit would come upon your prophets or come upon someone at a certain time to speak forth the word, but you you left, and now the Spirit that doesn't just come upon us. It lives in us. Those that are believers, we have the Spirit of the living God living inside, and we thank you for that right now. Mm -hmm. Pray a blessing upon all those that you have called to listen right now. Just pray a blessing, Lord. And, yeah. and even in my heart, I feel like if someone's crying right now, that's okay let it, to, to just let it out. And God's right there. And I thank you, God, in, in your name. We give you all the glory. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for this opportunity that you've given us to, to be here today and um, that you've given us the hearts to speak out your words to the people listening over the air as they're driving around or just listening from home. Lord, we just ask that um, you would give them uh, peace in their hearts right now as they go through different um, things in their lives. And, and one of the issues that, that you put in my heart is the forgiveness. Um, if you have someone to forgive or if you need to forgive yourself, just ask God because He's right there and, and He will supply that forgiveness unconditionally and, and work so heavily in our hearts and, and bring that out to, to cleanse us from issues. Um, we just ask, Lord, that um, your light would shine on each person and as, they're, as they're listening in today. Um, pray, Lord, that our families would be safe as they're yes. traveling and, mm -hmm. and health would just continue to flow through everyone mm -hmm. that that uh, that we know. Uh, there's so many issues of unhealthiness mm -hmm. happening, Lord, and, and we just um, lift those people up to you right now mm -hmm. for your grace, your, your health, your healing. We just praise you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm, I'm prompted to um, pray for mental health. Um, mm -hmm. We watched a Casting Crowns um, concert online last night and it was pretty amazing and it was for mental health and I, I do pray that for anyone out there struggling um, of any type, Lord. There's all kinds of mental health but that you are the great physician. You can give them the right kind of help they need. Uh, whether it be a doctor um, with medication or natural therapies. But I just ask that um, others would raise to you, Father, that um, need that kind of help and they would humble themselves to, um, to do what's necessary. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amen. We've been listening to uh, Winds of Praise, and that was Kelly Albright that just prayed. And uh, we heard Amy Shones and Loretta Lundy. Loretta, as you were praying, I thought uh, of Dan, your, your husband, my friend, and I, I thought of the ministry around the drum that takes place in Salettes. And for the longest time when we were meeting up at the Hill, I wanted to name the drum and the drummers the, the No Condemnation Drummers. <laughs> Because Dan was so full of grace, and, and everybody that came in, it was kind of like, wow, this doesn't seem like, quote-unquote, church. Uh, but you talk about forgiveness and how important that is. And I'll tell you, not one of us has it all right. We all stumble and fall. I don't care how hard you try, you're going to mess up. And that's where grace comes in and the love of the Lord. You can come in hopefully to a place and say I'm not perfect and we'll say well join the crowd none of us are either but that's why I always wanted to call the drum the the no condemnation drummers because there should shouldn't be condemnation upon people's heads and that's what forgiveness does it lifts that burden 
When your sins are forgiven by God, it lifts the burden from you. And when you forgive others of their transgressions, it lifts that burden from you and, and releases them. And you're not poisoned by that uh, unforgiveness anymore. It's such a wonderful thing. And it only comes from God. You know, true forgiveness only comes from God. And you can then forgive other people. Right. So, anyway, thank you. <laughs> He said. <laughs> yeah, what, what he said. I used to laugh. I, I've got three uh, ladies here with me in the studio. I told Rob, don't come. I grew up with three sisters and no brothers, and so I'm used to not talking. <laughs> and, and now in our later days, my sisters want to be quiet, and they want me to talk. It's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> but these are, uh, these are the power, you know, you ladies are like, you're the the nuclear center of our families i mean really and we men know that we know that we don't do anything without you guys you know you you give us permission and you give us guidance and you keep us in line because we're just dumb guys <laughs> but the ladies are are just amazing and uh, it's an honor to be here with every one of you so so thank you thank you thank you, <laughs> thank you. and what do you want to talk about we got 10 minutes well, um, Amy has been to um, out on the mission field. I think you should talk a little bit about that. You've got some amazing stories. Well, I, I can, can let me interrupt. Yeah, yeah, you were in Fiji one time, and I remember you came back and you were telling a testimony of being led by the Spirit to a meeting. You didn't even know where the meeting was, and you were just like, "I'm trusting God." Oh, and and that's I kind of forgot. Do you remember that? that? No. Well, I was so impressed because oh. I've I've heard that. Uh, you know, there's places like in countries that uh -huh. uh, faith is suppressed, uh -huh. where you can't say where you're going, you can't announce it, uh -huh. you just have to be led by the Spirit. And I know that your family, yeah. you, rely on the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Try to. And, uh, yeah, we, we were in the Fiji Islands in the year two, 1999, we started, and then 2000, and uh, there's a lot of incredible things that did happen. Um, one of the things that happened, just like how the Lord is, you go with one, maybe agenda or idea, and that's fine. You gotta have some plans. <laughs> and but then God sometimes takes you and steers you in a little different direction. And and we are, as I said, commercial fishermen. And we we purchased a boat and took some um, different teams of ministry teams to outer islands uh, to minister the gospel. But at the same time, we rented a home, a small home, and we would see um, street kids standing on the uh, corner as we would round down the street to our house. And they were prostitutes, uh, boys and girls. And so what Paul says, my heart just keeps burning for those kids. And, and when I say kids, I'd say anywhere from age uh, 16 to 25, about up in theirs. There's a few older ones. And um, anyway, long story short, we started giving Bibles out and saying hi and, and saying, hey, you guys want to go get some McDonald's and load some kids in our car and take them to McDonald's and share God with them and then let them back out and kind of get to know them. And one young man, one night, we, we took him in and, and said, hey, you want to, I don't know if we gave him food or anyway, we shared the gospel with him. And he wanted to hear. We never pushed it, but people were, they were curious. And I remember then he went real silent. I was in the passenger seat, Paul was in the seat, and he was in the back seat, this young man. And he said, um, he went silent, and I thought, I don't know <laughs> what's happening. But he said, uh, are you telling me the truth? And I said, yeah, we are telling you the truth. And he said, because if you're lying to me, that's not good. But if what you're telling me is true, I want to believe it. And I said, it's true, you know, about Jesus Christ coming and that he could accept Jesus and become a Christian. And so um, he accepted the Lord. And then he told us where he was living. And um, so we said, okay. He said, can you come tomorrow? And I said, well, Paul has an appointment, but I can come. And he said, okay. And so I got directions and went to town, and and uh, 
this this young man was dressing, um, you know, in a little mini skirt and dressing like a woman with a wig and everything. And so uh, I got to the apartment building in the midst of town, and it was a little scary because I had to go up these stairs. And I was like, I don't really know what I'm going into. I don't know if this is safe. But I felt like, <clears throat> excuse me, God was with me. Felt his presence. So I went up there and knocked on the door. And, and he let me in. And, and I said, hello. He was an Indian young man. His name was Prakash. I said, hello, Prakash. And he said, it's over there. And I said, what's over there? He said, my clothes, my street clothes. And I said, oh, okay. And he said, I ran home today to his parents' house. And I got, I got some, some clothes. Uh, you know, he was wearing pants and a shirt. And he said, I want to burn those clothes. And I want to burn them right away. And I said, oh, okay. Well, maybe ch there's church tonight. Maybe we can burn them tonight. <laughs> so I t we talked to the pastors and... And they said, sure, and they put it out on the grass, and he burned his old life, and wow. he was just leading the whole way. And then he said, I want a new name. And I said, well, you don't have to have a new name. You have a new name in heaven. No, I want a new name, a new identity. And I said, okay, well, I talked to the pastor, and I said, how about Peter? Whoa. And so he said, I love that name. I said, okay, it starts with the same letter as your name. And, wow. and he says, and I can't go home. I need to live with you. <laughs> so, <laughs> we, he moved in with us. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, he ended up accepting the Lord and, and going to, uh, we discipled and, and him and he went to YWAM and anyway. That's awesome. Yeah. So, <laughs> I, what I hear is that there's hope for every one, yeah. every single person. You might think, not me, I'm too bad, I've gone too far. <laughs> That's just not the case. No condemnation, right, Rita? Right. Just, right. just as I am. Yeah. Just as I am. Yeah. I, that, that, that is so good because um, a lot of times people say, well, I need to clean up my life before I can come to the Lord, or I need to um, stop smoking cigarettes, or whatever the case may be. But it do doesn't work that way with God. He's, he loves us just how we are, and then our hearts are going to change. And um, I, I see that so, so many times yeah. of that happening. I remember at a women's retreat that the theme was, and I, I still have it, a little necklace that you made that said, um, uh, work in progress. Yeah. <laughs> so I always right. think of you, yeah. Well, Mrs. Albright, I'm going to give you this camera, and we're going to have to wrap up. Um, we have to wrap it up. It's about a 30-minute segment, and... Uh, we thank you for listening. This is KWPBLP Newport 98.7 FM. And uh, we do this on Mondays and Fridays. And I guess Colleen will be back and Ernie will be back uh, on Monday. So we'll return to our normal thing. But this has been a, a kick for me. Uh, Paul got to come in. Dan's got to come in. We had Jerry and Leslie Chapman come in. Um, it's just... Uh, and, and the invitation, we were praying for the pastors in Newport. Uh, I heard Jenny Hall and, and her husband uh, from the Nazarene Church do an ID. They've been in before, and, and uh, we love all you guys. Uh, I mean, you just name the churches. I could, I could name a bunch. But uh, we encourage you to pick up the post. It's online in our new website. Uh, Kelly, thank you for editing that. Um, Go to windsofpraise.com and you can actually get an Adobe Acrobat version. And we're working on the June issue, is that right? Yes, and I'd like to make a public request of Dan Lundy since he's... <laughs> I sometimes have to nag him. Dan, your article will be due on Monday. And Amy, and too. Amy, yeah, yeah. You can't get away, Dan. Dan calls her the slave driver. <laughs> I call her paparazzi. <laughs> all right, well, thank you all, every one of you, for coming in. Again, Kelly and... Amy and Lorita. Thank you guys, the ladies. Lovely ladies. You're welcome. Um, thank you. Kelly Dan says, tell a slave driver okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let's return to the normal programming. It's uh, We started just a little bit before 7.30. We'll end just a little bit before 8. Uh, this is KWPBLP Newport. And I see a song that's coming up. It's called Dance on Our Graves. Isn't that appropriate? <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I want a new life. Well, you can have a new life in Jesus. It, it, but, yeah.
you know, pray to Him. You don't need a specific uh, worded prayer. It's it's a heart to heart affair. So this is KWPB LP Newport, and we'll talk to you again next week, next Monday, God willing. God bless you.